Investors want to know if Facebook's going to generate revenue at a rapid enough rate to justify its big valuation, will it? I, I don't think so. I think that when you look at what's gone on with Facebook, investors are kind of meeting it with a little bit of distrust at this point. There's that concern that the initial process was really just a money grab, and in turn, when you look at it a little bit more closely, the growth of Facebook is clearly slowing down. Well, the analysts are expecting Facebook's revenue to be in the neighborhood of $1.16 billion over the last three months. What are your expectations? I think that it's going to fall short of that. Uh, I think that there's obviously been concern by advertisers that they're not seeing the type of return that they would like to see from Facebook. So I think that, especially with some of the news that came out right around the launch of the IPO, investors, or, I'm sorry, advertisers have started to shy away from it. Ken, what do shareholders want to hear on the conference call today? They actually, I think what, what I would want to hear is plans for the future. I think that clearly the IPO didn't go as anyone would have liked it to. I think what they're looking for is looking for them to come back with basic plans, what they're going to do to really grow revenue, what's going to happen here moving forward. And if they have good insight in that, I think that's what investors are really looking for. As John Ehrlichman just mentioned yesterday, Zynga, the biggest developer of games played on Facebook, missed analysts' second quarter estimates, and it fell the most since its December IPO. IPO, Facebook fell nearly 6% in response. How's Facebook going to make up that lost ground? I don't see how they're going to be able to at this point. I do think that there are some positive signs that they're looking to do different things here moving forward. The want button, the ability possibly to have some type of mobile payment processing and a payment platform, that's where there could be a lot of revenue. And I think the interesting thing about Facebook is most companies have to have these type of things in place before they kind of take the steps that Facebook did. But because Facebook's just so widely popular, they were, they're able to do it after the fact, which is kind of curious. Ken, do you want to hear Mark Zuckerberg and Sheryl Sandberg discuss revenue projections going forward for the next quarter today? I'd love to hear more about what their plans are. I'd love to hear what they're looking to do because clearly what they're doing right now isn't going to be enough to show the type of sustained growth that everybody's looking for. Why not? I just don't think they're making anything more creative or they're not giving any new advertisers a reason to really look at Facebook as being a viable source. We see a lot of advertisers in our industry that feel that Facebook just doesn't provide enough return on the investment. There's the eyes there, there's people looking at it, but they're just not seeing the type of reaction that they would see from, say, advertising on Google where the response is a lot more actionable. So at this point, Facebook's biggest challenge, it needs to convince investors it can actually make money from the mobile base? I think from the mobile base and also just growing with different forms and different revenue streams. As you see, the, the gaming platform with Zynga is kind of fallen back. You know, it's kind of more of a fad-related type scenario. So the fact that they need to have other ways to produce revenue is going to be something that's going to be really important. Well, how much of an impact will Facebook's mobile advertising component have on third quarter revenue? I think it's got a decent chance to have a pretty good impact because they've started to roll it out. There's been some good uh, signs that the actual uh, ratios and the costs that they're able to derive from that are pretty high. But I'm not sure that when you look at uh, you know, how quickly they can really get that in place, uh, I'd like to think in Q3 that's something that could be impactful. So what are your overall expectations for Q3 for Facebook? I think that Q3 stands to be better than Q2. I think Q2 was really focused around uh, the IPO itself, and now I think they're in the position to really start showing more value. Ken, we have about 30 seconds left. Are you surprised at where Facebook's price is right now relative to what that opening day IPO price was? Uh, I'm a little surprised. I actually thought that it would have jumped a lot more just based on pure hype and, and pure uh, interest in the stock. But I think the fact that people started to raise questions quickly, it's not surprising after the fact it fell back. Question of too much hype, perhaps? Too much hype in this particular case, but I do think in the long run, there's something to definitely look at. I think Facebook will be a good buy in the long run.